and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your local PC without much ado, let's jump straight into action but let me give you some bonus idea before we do that I'll show you how to download WordPress and then we can install it on our local PC so I'm going to go to wordpress.com wordpress.org sorry not .com .org. and we are going to download our WordPress and run it locally on our PC so I'm going to move straight down here and then click on get WordPress so I'll click on get WordPress so let's wait for it to download and then I'll go down and then download WordPress 4.6 that means that's the latest version so I'm currently downloading my WordPress so let's wait for some time for our download to be complete then we so my WordPress has been successfully downloaded I'm going to open this in the download folder and then I'm first going to extract this so I'll right click and then I'm going to use the extract to WordPress so I want to extract this file into the same folder okay so let's go ahead and then do the extraction remember we are using wordpress and wordpress is having php within it and we have to make sure that we have a WAMP. that's a local server running on our pc in order to run wordpress so in this case i have i'm using a WAMP server and it's already set online it's already run you can see all services running I'm going to use WAMP server for the purpose of this lesson. You can also use ZAMP as well. I have to prepare, but for you to get more insight about how to use WAMP, just subscribe to this channel. I'll prepare a video on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and then visit to our download folder. So I have WordPress extracted here successfully. Okay, so I have my WordPress, and all I need is to copy this folder and then send it to my drive c within my drive c i have my one folder and then i have to put in wordpress i have to copy wordpress directly into the www folder so i'm going to paste my wordpress file over here okay so i now have my wordpress file i'm trying to copy it into folder to be complete okay so our file is not located for us to be able to okay so we've downloaded our wordpress file let me go over it again before you download wordpress make sure you go to wordpress.org you go to you have a button where you have to create on get get wordpress so you download wordpress from wordpress.org once you're done downloading you have to first extract it onto your drive c that's your warm server yeah, assuming you are using zamp you go through the same procedure and they equally do the same thing so now that i have my warm running i can easily access my local server by typing local local host local host within my browser and i hit enter so what this means my WAMP is running and i want to first create a database remember every website or most majority of dynamic websites run on what database where we can save some files and they retrieve them later on so in this case i want to ask Access my PHP admin. We need to create a database in order to install our WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and click or click on my PHP admin. So let me just allow this to load. Okay. As a first time, if you install WordPress and then you want to access that admin, to request for you want to access the PHP admin to request for username and password. The username is root with no password so just go ahead and then click on enter root as username and click on go and this will grant you access okay so we are now in php admin we need to create a database this is a database we are going to use to run or install our wordpress on our local pc i'm just going to new click on new and then just type in any database name remember you need to keep this name because this is what you are going to use to create to install your WordPress. Okay, so let me see WordPress. I want to use a name that I can easily remember. WordPress. And I'm just going to create. Just leave every other thing the same. So the name of our WordPress or the name of our database is WordPress. Let's go ahead, type localhost. Localhost in a different tab again. So this time we notice that our WordPress is located. You can see under project, you can see WordPress. So in order to access this WordPress folder, we have to go to localhost slash wordpress wordpress as easy then hit enter and let's see what it goes okay so you can see the screenshot or you can see what is at the display right now it's asking for database name database user 
and a password database host table prefix if you want to run more than one WordPress in a single database so in this case we are running just one WordPress in our subsequent lesson we are going to learn how to run different WordPress in a single database but in this case let's go ahead and click on let's go we are trying to run this locally so you notice by default it's just coincident that I created a WordPress the database using WordPress but assuming you use a different name as your database you have to put that name over here in this case our username is root you notice that we're logging with root for our database and then there's no password so i'll clear this from here and leave other things the way it is don't change anything so the database name which coincidentally i use wordpress as my database name and then the password is username is root and we have no password. so let's try and submit this if everything is successful okay say all right, Sparky, you have made it through this part of the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database if you are ready. Time now to what? Let's go. Let's install this. So we notice that we've successfully. So let's say the site you want to create is what? Let's see. Let's just give it a name. So let's say try. Let's say this. Remember this username you're going to type over is what you need to what you use to log into the back end of your WordPress site. So let me just type in any name. So I'm just going to call this ID and then I'll set my own password. So let me say one, two, three, four for my local address. So I have to confirm with password. For now, okay, let's just use any email for this. Okay, let's have several emails. So let me just use this, my email and then click on install. So I'm trying to install this. Well, but let's see how this is going to be okay so our, our wordpress installation is now successful wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy so we can log in now you notice we created a username and password so the password we use i use a username of what admin and then the password of one two three let me type that and then i'll just click on login so we are now going to log into the back end of our wordpress thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i hope you really enjoy it and our subsequent lessons or the le tutorial after this will be how to the first thing you need to do after installing what wordpress what do you need to do and how to set up your first web page in wordpress